Welcome back to Film Gob, everyone. It's Shaker here. It's time to catch up with what's been going on in the Snyder Cut world. Yeah, yeah everything Snyder Cut, this, that. You know, you look at Rorschach's face, you see the Snyder Cut. And it was a big event yesterday on Twitter, mainly. Um, at RT Snyder Cut organised it and a few others. And just basically everyone, all the followers of the Snyder Cut came together. We started tweeting. We hopefully get everything you know, you get the hashtag, release the Snyder Cut trending around the world. And uh, I'll go into that, you know, how it happened and what it might lead to. So uh, stay tuned for that. But first, let's catch up with what's been going on over the past week. Because there was a lot of news about the Justice League Snyder Cut coming out from various sources. Let's take a look. Justice League VFX supervisors confirm that many Snyder Cut VFX shots are complete. So all of you who have been going on about, you know, it was an assembly cut, it's unfinished, it, oh, it doesn't even exist. Well, you kind of look stupid, but then again, you've always looked stupid in our eyes. This follows on from, you know, Jason Momoa's interview with MTV where he was like, oh, you think Zack Snyder couldn't finish? You know, what needed to be done? That's not the only news though. Tom Hokenberg, uh, you know, Junkie XL, uh, he came out and confirmed again, yes, his score for the movie, uh, Justice League movie, is done. He finished it, you know, because you can't finish a score for a film that's incomplete. He managed to finish the score for a film that was pretty much complete. So even though in March 2017 he already said this, you know, uh, my score has came together, he tweeted that out, it was good to have him just confirm it again. So uh, yeah, that was reported on this week as well. I saw this from comicbook.com. It said, no, uh, Yahya Abdul-Mateen II is not in the Snyder Cut. Um, okay. I don't know where the rumour came from to begin with, but they were there to shoot it down. And Yahya was like, them blogs is wild. Next up, Clay Staub. Who would that be? He said, uh, looking back at my time in Iceland on the real Justice League, it was epic and could still be hashtag release the Snyder Cut. And he shared this little sketch of a Batman in the Batmobile. But who is Clay Staub? Well, if you go to the Justice League IMDB page, you'll see that Clay was the aerial second unit director. So it was good to see uh, another member of the Justice League crew come out and say they want to see the Snyder Cut as well, just like Fabian Wagner has been supporting us uh, over the past few months. It's good to see someone else come out as well. Here's another one, Sam Liu, director, producer of DC animated movies. He said, he's always been interested in seeing the Snyder Cut. I liked how DC films felt different than the Marvel ones. Now all this talk of the Snyder Cut, you know, it's not going to go unnoticed from the haters out there. But guess who returned? to teach these haters a lesson, yes, the one and only Jay Oliver. So we had another fool on Twitter talking about there is no there is no Snyder Cut, and Jay was like, answer me this, if there is no cut, then what did Zack screen to execs multiple times prior to Whedon's involvement? Did he show them a sock puppet show? Did he act out the entire movie with action figures? <laughs> and then someone posted this, but uh, it's from neildaviesillustration.co.uk. Quite awesome. Uh, Zack Snyder playing with his action figures. I had this photograph from uh, Sean O'Connell. Yeah, from Cinema Blend. He's been supporting the Snyder Cut for a while now. I was a little bit suspicious at first. But if he, he checks out, guys. He checks out. Uh, he goes back to 2017. He was doing articles about, you know, wanting to see the Snyder Cut. So uh, he posted this uh, photograph of himself wearing the... The, the, the t-shirt that Zach uh, came up with and uh, he was uh, just saying, you know, why is he wearing that t-shirt on this day of all days? So there you go everyone, you're caught up there with what happened over the past week, but yesterday was huge. Uh, the at RT Snyder Cut team, you know, they let everyone know, we need to get released a Snyder Cut hashtag trending, right? Let's see how many, let's see how much we can do in, the, in a short space of time. But I found out like a day before it was gonna happen, and then like 10 minutes before it was supposed to start yesterday, um, I was like, oh, it's starting now. So I tweeted out a few of the videos I've done here on YouTube and uh, ev just retweeting everything from, you know, Chris Wong to Pilly Swain, Mr. West Ashley and um, everyone in, in the Snyder Cut community. At the same time as this event started, 
Zack Snyder shared this on Vero, cute couple. Uh, so that's uh, Kirsty Clemens as Iris West and you know Barry Allen, uh, Ezra Miller uh, from that scene where he saves her. Uh, if you've not seen it, I'm sure you'll be able to find it somewhere on the internet. So it was awesome that Zack Snyder, he knew the time this event was going to start. He's been following us, he knows what we're up to. And um, yeah, it's uh, amazing that he started it off with that photo. And then like I say, everyone was retweeting, tweeting their own stuff, retweeting other people's uh, uh, tweets. And yes, hashtag release the Snyder Cut got trending, but not just in one location everywhere check this out so it started off with 12,000 tweets in uh, canada ontario trending in india over 14,000 tweets trending in the united states over 17,000 tweets here we see over 55,000 tweets rob liefeld sean o'connell involved and i woke up this morning and i saw this trending in united kingdom over 70,000 tweets we had a few verifies like sunny bunch christine radnedge rob liefeld he even put in his comic book he says but wait, Darkseid has entered the chat. So you would think all that going on, right? All that news in the past week. Zack Snyder now sharing that photo. Snyder Cut trending worldwide, everyone coming together. Jason Momoa was not going to sit back. He wanted to join in the fun and I woke up this morning and I saw this. incredible shot i think zack snyder shared something some time ago about um you need a super punch to get steppenwolf to diana so i was asleep when all this was happening you know time zones and crap like that so everything you've seen in this video right all the news of the past week or everything that happened yesterday what's it all leading to hmm. i'm getting a strong vibe i'm hearing things i'm getting a strong positive vibe the justice league theatrical release you know the two-year anniversary is approaching could there be one big surprise before the end of the year I'm not getting my hopes up i don't want to get my hopes up don't want to get your hopes up but uh, i just have this feeling you know i've been told that we need to keep going keep fighting over the next few days week even tweets you know release the snyder cut tweets you know videos whatever any blogs vlogs whatever you want to do keep going and something might happen i don't know guys let me know in the comments below what you think about all this click that like button share subscribe hit that notification bell for all notifications so you know when i upload a new video and remember the bell cannot be unrung why not check out these other videos in the meantime but until next time i'm shaker and i will catch you later